it's yeah. like go and get fair, you know, like, I, I mean, I get it. Like we all have Fix issues. It. Like, you know, yeah. I don't, it's like, there's no excuse now. Now you're like 50 years old. You haven't Fix gone it. to therapy and, and, and realized like, you know, what your issues are. I mean, and figured it out. I mean, I'm yeah, not making it, light of mental no. health, but go and try. Right. I mean, who has, who does not have an issue from childhood or somewhere along the way you rise yep. above it when you figure it out, which does not happen at 18 for most people, but by 50 for a lot of people, it does. Right. Well, and, and maybe, you know, I'm, I'm saying all these things based on things I don't know, just what I gather and what I've witnessed and heard and experienced when she met Tom, she was pretty young still. And all of a sudden she went from someone who was, you know, surviving, working as a waitress, you know, left her son, you know, stripper, go-go dancer, whatever she was constantly just trying to get by, get by. And then all of a sudden she meets this guy who literally gives her a 180 in life, changes her life completely. And, you know, it's one of those sayings, I'm sure you've heard it, where money only amplifies who you really are a really nice person who makes a lot of money and in, in, in falls upon a great deal of wealth and makes them better. Someone who's an asshole and really a, a, a shithead makes a bunch of money and they become a bigger asshole and a bigger shithead. And sorry, you know, if the shoe fits and, and when you have the opportunity to do right by someone in this situation, you know, and, and it's so funny because I read an article today with the guy that got burned in that PG&E, that the, the explosion, and the mom had come out and said something about how she's just, she can't, you know, now everything that she sees about Erica, she's like, is she spending, you know, her son's money? And you just, you just have to say to yourself, just be humble for God's sakes, do what you can, but don't be so cold about it. I don't like that. Yeah. And making this statement, which she made that she would like the victims to be whole. Well, I mean, that's, I mean, who, who wouldn't really, but now, now what the were you don't, do you mean that? Like, is that a, like, that's a one liner. Yeah. You, you don't feel that that's for sure. I don't understand how someone threw it all in, you know, just a couple of things like throughout the season that just stuck in your head when she would, made the comment to Dorit or to Kyle, whoever it was, where she said, you know, do, do you know what happened to the money? She said, no, I'd like to know where the money went myself. Or like, she wants to know where the money went. Don't tell me you don't know where the money went. No, uh, honey, I ain't buying that. You know how much money you spent. You know how many times the jet went out. You know how many times you went to dinner and had a $10,000 dinner because your husband was ordering $5,000 bottle of wine or throwing a party for a quarter of a million dollars. You do know. I mean, that's the thing. She became arrogant and cocky with the money, period. And, you know, that alone, even if you do have it, that alone though is so, to me, is so ugly. It's ugly it. to me too. It's not, I know it's not, listen, I know plenty of people like that live below their means, not cheap or, you know, they're not, but they, you just, I, I, I still go back to, if you mm -hmm. are a truly happy person inside you, mm -hmm. it, this goes for everything. New York is just as bad as LA. Like you don't need to like, like I, Nobody knows what I, I, I live below my means. Like, I mean, I live a very nice life, but you don't lead with your money. You don't, mm -mm. you don't no. need to say like me, look at me. I mean, I still buy myself plenty of nice things, but it's like, you don't, sorry for these fire, whatever the hell that is. That's all right. Sirens. But like, you know what I'm saying? That is the bottom yeah. line. You don't, you do it for the wrong reasons. If you are not a happy person inside period, the end that I'm positive of. And if you are, you still have like lovely things, but you don't right. need with your money. People, it's like when you go to Kathy's house, it's like people realize, I mean, it's different because everyone knows about Kathy Hilton, but you know, there's people where like, you have known them for so long and you're like, oh my God, I just went to their house. Like, uh, 
you never told me what, like, excuse me, this right. house is like insane. What? Like, right. Oh, you right. never talked about this. Like I have a friend like that in the city, like 20,000 Birkins never brings them out. She's just like, you right. know, this, these were gifts. Like I feel embarrassed to you. Like, you know what I'm saying? You just, yeah. you learn people yeah. have money by just being like, Oh, I'm observing out of a corner of my eye, but they never talk about it. That means that it's, you don't lead with that. You're unhappy I, I, when that is your like, love me, look at me. And that's what Erica did. It was cocky. I think that there's a difference also. Uh, there's a difference on the show. And I think when the show originally started, do you remember like back in the days? And I really particularly remember it with like New Jersey when Teresa Giudici would like pull out like a roll of cash and like just start counting out hundreds. Well, we saw where that, that ended. But um they used to do that. Remember on the, on the housewife show when they would like, they'd go shopping and then they would like put the total of the amount of what they spent. Do you yes. remember that? Yes. Yeah. And so I think that the show started off with rewarding how showing like this flash and this opulence and, you know, and just this abundance of money and life and the sticker shock for people who don't have it. Like, Holy cow. She just went into you know, the clothing store for children and spent $22,000 on kids outfits. Right. And, and then the show just kind of morphed into like all the designer stuff and the Birkins and the cars and the houses and the show, the show, and I can only speak for evolution because that's, you know, the only production company I worked with, but I remember when they said to me, and I may have told you this when they were like, Hey, Catherine, can you and Donnie go, Rolls Royce shopping or jewelry shopping. And I was like, huh? And I think they would like, were tired of like going to the gym with us or whatever we were doing, you know, that was not exciting. And I said, I, I just would never buy a Rolls Royce. I would just never drive down. It. And I had a friend of mine who's a very, you know, great jeweler and beautiful things. And I called him and I was like, Stan, can I come to your place and just try on some like over the top crazy necklaces and pretend like I'm going to buy them where I was never, I would never spend a million dollars on a diamond necklace. And, but that's what they want you to put out there. They literally like direct you to show it all. They want the closet tour. They, you know, how much of those shoes and how many Birkins do you have? And you know, it, and you get rewarded for putting that out there. Especially in Beverly Hills. And they still kind of like, you know, when they had Crystal's bag and they said $95,000 for that. Mini exactly. Mini, it's like mm -hmm. they still do that at times. And like, like, even I think last season or whatever, like their one season where like Kyle and Sutton, I think they went to like Dolce, like they still do it. Yeah. But now it's not because there's so much of it there's Birkins on every season right. or every, uh, every city, right. It's like, there, it's a dime a dozen. I mean, truthfully there, everyone's got a flipping Birkin, you know? So it's like just showing the regular, you know, Birkin isn't going to get you the attention, but if it's a limited edition, you've never seen this one before. And someone says, Hey, that Birkin is a $95,000 bag. They're like, okay, wait a minute. We got to film it. You're going to come in and make the comments about the bag and we're going to cut to the bag and we're going to make it a thing. 